everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Well, you guys, today I'm giving you a break from my face, but you're still going to have to hear my voice. So, uh, it is what it is. <laughs> I have had a few messages regarding Peyton's recent TikTok Live, specifically about him admitting to a physical altercation with his younger sister, Gwen. And I just wanted to jump on here and talk about it. But I'm going to warn you guys, I have thoughts. But to be honest, there there's mostly questions because I feel like it was this short story, short antidote that Peyton shared. And it just, for me, it just opened up so many more questions that I'd like to know more about. And special shout out to the subreddit TLC Sister Wives. You guys can, I highly suggest joining that subreddit if you haven't already. Probably if you're watching my videos, you already do, but they're, they really um, are a great community over there. Lots of interesting discussions always happening. And user KNB1987, that's my birth year, so special shout out to them for capturing this moment of the live. Take a look at this. Many years ago, I messed up. I hit Gwen, I slapped Gwen after some words were exchanged and I took it too far and I slapped her. And she thinks that I might do it again. And she's scared of me, which is okay. I'm not gonna argue with her. I'm not gonna fight on that. Mom mom is very aware of this and mom is, mom is trying to help her. Mom knows I would never, I know I would never, but it's it, it hurts me. It hurts me knowing that my sister thinks I'm, I want to hurt her. I don't, I don't want to hurt my sister, but she thinks I do. And I'm going to wait until she, feels okay to talk to me, to talk to her. I want her to feel safe. It is very important that my sister feels safe around me. Okay, so I had a very confused initial reaction to this clip. I have so many questions and I just really would like to know more. We can really only speculate as to the severity of the hit or the slap, but I mean, he does say that Gwen is scared of him and that seems pretty severe in my opinion. I mean, we you can watch TV shows, people have talked, even in the Reddit thread, we see siblings fight, even, even get physical with each other. But to go to the level of saying you're scared of a sibling, to me that indicates that it was more than just typical sibling arguing. Another question that popped into my mind is, I thought his relationship with Gwen has been rocky because of their different political leanings. He seems to indicate the cause for the strain in his relationship with Gwen is this physical altercation, which is interesting to me because I think a lot of us assumed, I know at least I assumed, it was due to the public political back and forth he has had on his social media with some of his siblings, namely Mariah and Audrey. I'll link a couple articles down in the description of this video that I think sum up what happened between them and that fallout pretty well. This this happened in middle of 2020, so it was quite a while ago, and I think people just assumed, at least I assumed, that the relationship was just strained from that moment on. So specifically regarding this fight that led to a hit, my questions are, I guess these are my thoughts, but like I said, mostly my questions. How many years is many, many years ago? Did this fight happen when they were young kids or was this like five years ago or something? Like I, I would like to quantify the, the term many, many years ago. I believe Peyton and Gwen are around three years apart. So to me, little kids getting in a tussle with each other, it it just is while well, wrong and would would need behavioral correction by the parents, definitely is not the same in my opinion as like a, a 16 year old Peyton hitting a 13 year old grunt or whenever, whatever ages they were when this happened. To me, that is just definitely a different level of severity you know y young kids a lot of times like toddlers act out physically with things they can't express verbally and you know by the time you're an older child or a young teen even a, even a mid-teen your while your brain is definitely not fully developed your 
ability to, you know, understand when you've done something wrong and to not do something you know is wrong definitely is there versus a younger kid. So I think that to me, I would like to know, does many, many years ago mean he was uh, essentially like a child or a, or did that mean he was a teenager? Also, Peyton is tall. He's very tall. And Gwen is pretty petite. If this fight happened any time after Peyton went through puberty, I mean, I can see how even a mild slap from him could leave someone in fear simply because of his stature. He also mentions that Christine is helping Gwen get through it as to not be afraid of him. And that just leads me to believe this had to have been a pretty decently hard slap or hit if, you know, this is something that Christine is continuing to work with Gwen on. More questions that I have. Um, did this did this hit or slap leave a mark on Gwen? Did she have a cut from it, a bruise? Was it something she had to heal from? I mean, obviously, heal from physically. We know she is still healing from it emotionally. Also, what were the consequences besides being Gwen being afraid of him? How did Christine handle this situation? How did Cody handle the situation? This seems like it was a very significant event in both Peyton and Gwen's lives and something that they're still dealing with the fallout from to this day. I would be very interested to know this was never talked about on the show. What what happened? How do we've seen Cody try to reprimand his kids before, but like what what does actual discipline look like for Cody and Christine? That's a question that I have. Also, Peyton seems to be pretty mild mannered. If you listen to any of the interviews he's given, even and if you follow him on TikTok or Instagram, he's pretty quiet, mild mannered, and he speaks almost identically to Christine. The way their cadence of their voice is very similar. It almost is intentional to me. Like, so I'm wondering, did he have to go, did he get some sort of anger management classes? Did he have some sort of inner, like early intervention after this happened? What, I'm just really curious because the way he speaks almost seems like he is very measured and intentional in coming across very, like, relaxed and not stressed. I also, that also leads me to wonder if he witnessed any, like, physical fights between the adults or the parents growing up. Much of the time, you know, acting out physically for older kids and young teens young adults, older teens, it's a learned behavior. Where did he witness this? Where did he, where did he become someone who, you know, decided that this was how they were going to void, like express themselves? So that is just a question I had too. You know, like I said, usually with younger kids, toddlers, when you can't express yourself verbally, you tend to act out Physically, that is something we've seen in very, very young children. So again, to me, my biggest question regarding this is when, how old were they when this went down? You guys will have to let me know what you think down in the comments. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care, have a good one, much love.